this is Shirley from Shirley's Art Ventures and I've been working on my resin art. So today I'm just going to show you my different pieces that I've made. They're very raw and I'm trying to figure out how to put them together into spinners, coasters, um, sun catchers. So, you know, this is going to be kind of a raw video, but just watch it and you can see what I'm thinking and later on I'll show you what I have completed. So, let's get, let's get going here. Okay, this features my butterflies and yellow flowers. So this is what I made. I took two butterflies and I put them together into this heart mold. And I thought this would become a spinner. So I will put my little spinner on top of it and I'll have a couple of spinners in the middle and I'll connect some flowers to this. I'm thinking a butterfly would look nice in the middle. I do need to drill holes here, 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 and here in order to connect everything. So my husband is going to be bringing the drill down to do that. I have some other pieces too. I have this flower and this flower. Uh, I think this is the up direction. This doesn't quite look right that way. So, you know, maybe I will do another spinner out of this. I would need to drill holes and I, I would need to have a a third item there because you should have things in in threes. I, I think this would probably become a coaster. Uh, if I had it like this way, I think it would work as a spinner. But I think right now that should become a coaster. So we'll see. Once I do my next resin pour, I can see what I can add to this little pile of flowers here. So those are the yellow flowers and the butterfly that I have poured already. Okay, here are some more resin pours. These are pretty thick. So these might work well as coasters. There's a little bubble in that one, but, but that's okay. It doesn't always have to be perfect. I, I could put them together in a spinner, but since they're so thick, I think coasters might be a better option. And these, you know, I used my watercolor paintings and I put them into the Wisconsin designs. Now the bigger one, I think I might add that to a spinner. So I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. I do am working on a butterfly spinner, so we'll see if that can get into that. So this is kind of the coaster idea. I could put something around the outside, but the pores were pretty good. I, I think this is the upside. Normally this would be the upside, but you know, if it's going to be a coaster, you kind of want the Wisconsin to sit in the right direction there. Okay, here is kind of an idea. Um, to, this could be hung in a window. I could put a couple of holes in the top up here and put some twine to hang it in a window. It is two-sided, so it would work as a spinner. The eagle, same, is two-sided. It's not as thick as some of them, so that would work as a spinner too. So possible idea of a spinner would be to maybe put these three together. And this one should probably remain the coaster. So when I do another pour, we'll see, you know, what what I make. I might be able to add to that. I honestly think putting a border around the outside of this would be best. And it also, everything does need sanding. So once I get it all sorted out, I will show you the, the finished product there. The Wisconsin design. double-sided, it would work as a spinner. So I think that's a good option too. Now here are 
are some flowers and butterflies I put together. You know, if you would like to have the flowers at an angle to be a spinner, I think it would look better like this. So I'm not totally sure what to do with these flowers yet. This one, would this one work as an angle? It might. So, you know, we could do a flower spinner kind of like that. That might might work. And the butterfly here. So a spinner you need to attach in one spot, not in two spots. So we'll see. We'll see how these end up. Now this one I molded from a square plate and I put non-stick aluminum on the back side. All right, to me, this is the front side, but you know, it does have the texture to it. And it kind of became the back side because of this. I have a different picture on the back of that. But this will become a spinner. I will add the spinning mechanism to this, which is a little hook. And I, I take this part off because I don't need that, but it spins in the middle, and then I will put another spinner in here, and it will all be connected with fire line. So I, ideally I wanted a flower in the center there, and this flower would match the flower at the bottom, but it's pretty thick, so I'm still, I might do another pour. This, Bird. You know, it fits in really well. So we'll see. We'll see what we end up with, which is more interesting, the flower or the bird. It's a hummingbird. This spinner here is featuring the hummingbird, so, and it's made from a plate. And it has a ziplock bag, and you can actually see the texture of the bag in in here. So these are different hummingbirds. I guess it's the same. They're just different sizes. And these are just other pictures I put in there. So this will definitely become a spinner. And I think when I did this hummingbird, this is the one I thought about for this one or the other one. So I'm going to be making another run here and we'll see what we end up with. Here is a bee spinner. And I think this one will be actually the complete the design. And I kind of like this part right up here to be the top since everything else seems to be pretty consistent and pretty even. And this B would work really nice in the, in the center of this spinner. I do have a pink flower. of a pink flower in this one. That might look okay too. You'd have to do two ends to it and it's always more difficult to do that. So we'll see what we end up with. So thank you for watching this.